Okay, this is Airball, one of the best, uh, yet most irritating games for the Atari ST platform. I thought I'd combine a demo for this game along with joystick configuration. Although I touched on joysticks during the initial Steam emulator video, I felt I needed more explanation, and what better program than this frustrating one. Now before we get started, I thought I'd bring up the manual and I'll go to the page that gives instructions on what keystrokes to use. Because as you will see, it depends upon what you're comfortable with. Uh, but here they all are here, and you can see that they have specific uh, mappings for each device. Now because I've been trained over the last, I don't know how many years, to use the uh, WASD on my left hand uh, to control things, and because the left control will be buried underneath that hand, I'm going to map it to the right control. The idea behind Airball, you've been turned into a ball by a wizard and you have to go find the solution and uh, save yourself. And you can do that by running around this maze, three-dimensional maze, uh, and going uh, different places. But since you're an Airball, you can be poked by different objects and explode. So you go around gathering points, uh, jumping around places until you uh, solve the puzzle. Okay, anytime during the demo, or during gameplay for that matter, you can press F10 to get to the menu. And here you see that F1 selects the control, the joystick, keyboard, or mouse. All have their difficulties, but since I'm using the Steam emulator, I'm going to show how to configure the uh, mapping for that. If you have another emulator, you're going to have to try to use its settings. If you have an ST, you're sort of stuck with just changing the controls here on the selection screen. Since I have an old Xbox 360 controller hooked up to my PC and I selected joystick in the game itself, over here in the configuration for the emulator, I have to set this up. Now I'm in joystick configuration number one at the top up here, and right here you can say when it's active, whether it's all the time or when you're pressing certain keystrokes. I just leave mine to always. So instead I use different mappings for different things. But for right now we'll talk about the number one. If you have a joystick already connected and you just want to configure the buttons and the key presses that you have for it, you just simply click in the box. And there's a slight color change where it turns white. And then you can start using the buttons on your joystick to change the setting here. If it doesn't work, hit rescan joysticks and try it again. So right now uh, I'm in the editing mode and I press a button and sure enough it changes to that setting. I'm going to click here again and press uh, another one. And you can change this to whatever you feel comfortable with. I like the right stick on my uh, joystick to use, so that's what I'm configuring it for. Then you simply go down to each one of your buttons and choose what value you want. I don't need really to use that one, but here's your fire button down here. And if I click on it, you see I went to button two, but of course I'm going to use the A button, which is used all the time. By the way, there's no save necessary. As soon as you click, it's been saved. But now I'm going to go to uh, joystick setup number two, which is what I'm going to replace the joystick with my keyboard by setting up the old WASD uh, setup that you're used to in most modern games. And all you do is the same thing. You just click on uh, whatever button you want to do whatever movement you want. Oh, I have it backwards. So uh, let me go ahead and fix that. Click there on S and then press, click that and press D. And we're good to go. Now because we've selected joystick here, you need to make sure the game is set to use joystick uh, no matter which configuration you use. One's the actual joystick. And the other configuration is the keyboard used as a joystick. So leave it on joystick if you're going to use this configuration. Whether you use the joystick, the keyboard, or the mouse setting uh, will affect your game play greatly because it's extremely difficult to use uh, certain ones. It depends upon what you're accustomed to. Uh, I played with mouse, I played with joystick and the keyboard. Uh, again, it comes up to what you prefer. Mouse is a little delicate. You can all of a sudden jump off to the side, and who knows what will happen. I like the joystick, but uh, the keyboard can be just as effective. Now, one last thing about gameplay. If you come across these stands in the middle of places, they actually inflate you back up. But you can't stay there too long because you'll blow up. But it gives you a renewed life. Plus, if you get killed later on, you'll come back to the last place you filled up with air. So there you have it. Uh, joystick configuration in general, plus uh, air ball. A maddeningly frustrating game, but uh, pretty enjoyable nonetheless. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. If you want more of the same, subscribe to the Atari Geek.
You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.